Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock any iPhone or iPod Touch on the latest firmware, which is 3.1.2, even if it's on the latest baseband. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to need only one thing for this, uh, so it's pretty easy. You're going to need a file called Black Rain, and, um, and to get that, you go to this website, blackrain.com, and this will be the website. You scroll down to the bottom. If you have an, a Mac, you just click the Apple, and if you have Windows, click the Windows sign, and the file will start downloading. That's all you need to do. Okay, so once you download your file you need for Mac or Windows, then you click Black Rain. Okay, so once you have it open, just keep your iPhone or iPod Touch connected to the computer on the latest firmware, which is 3.1.2, and you can even update it through iTunes. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. And then once you do that, just click Make It Rain, and the whole thing will get started. So once you click let it rain, it's going to do its stuff. It takes about two minutes. I've already done it to make sure it all goes well, and it's working fine. Okay, so once you do that, you'll see on your iPhone the picture um, of what we saw, which will be this. You'll see the picture on your iPhone, and then um, after it goes away, your iPhone should reboot, and you should have a program like this. It's called Black Rain. All you need to do is open it. So once you click on it, you'll come to a screen like this. Now once you get to that screen, you're going to have to install Cydia for the jailbreak. And if you want, you also should click the black snow in order to unlock your iPhone. This will unlock any of the iPhones, including the 3GS. So click on Cydia and uh, black snow if you need it, and then click install. And once you install it, your iPhone will reboot. And when it turns back on, you will have Black Rain and Cydia now on your phone. So what you need to do is go into Black Rain again. And once it opens, you will see a screen like this. At the bottom of the screen, Click the uninstall button, and then it will uninstall itself. And at the end of this, if you did the unlock, then make sure you restart your phone because that's the only way it will work. And then once you restart your phone, your phone should be unlocked and should work on any other GSM carrier. So that's basically the whole thing. It's a real easy process. And if you guys want to subscribe, I'll have all the latest jailbreak videos on the latest firmware. So be sure to do that. See you guys next time.